The small country of Bhutan lies along the lofty ridges of the eastern Himalayas in South Central Asia. It is landlocked between India, on the east, south, and west, and the Tibet Autonomous Region of China, to the north, a location that gives it considerable geopolitical significance. It was long isolated from the mainstream of world affairs by dense, steamy jungles in the south and rugged, snow-covered mountains in the north, as well as by the preference of its rulers. Bhutan now finds itself poised between the old and the new. It has begun to modernize and to open the country to outside influences while taking care to preserve its traditional culture and its unspoiled natural environment. It has also transformed itself from an absolute monarchy to a democratic constitutional monarchy. The capital and largest town is Tempu area 14,824 square miles, 38,394 square kilometers. Population, 2020 est. 752,900. Land and climate. Bhutan may be divided into three geographic regions, the Great Himalayas in the north, the Lesser Himalayas in the center, and the Duars Plain in the south. The snow-capped peaks of the Great Himalayas reach heights of more than 24,000 feet, 7,300 meters. Only small numbers of people live in this cold, rugged area. The Lesser Himalayas is a region with lower mountains and fertile valleys that are relatively flat and broad and fairly well cultivated and populated. The Duars Plain is a narrow strip of land along the southern border. Much of it has extremely heavy rainfall of from 200 to 300 inches, 500 to 760 centimeters, a year and is hot, humid, and covered with dense semi-tropical forest. This region also has savannas and land used for farming. Numerous rivers cut through the mountains in the north, flow southward through the country, and eventually join the Brahmaputra River in India. More than two-thirds of the land in Bhutan is forested. The different types of forests are home to a very diverse array of plant and animal species. Among the many wild animals are elephants, tigers, leopards, rhinoceroses, monkeys, including the golden langur, bears, red pandas, deer, water buffalo, and many kinds of birds. People and culture. Bhutan is a largely rural country, with nearly 70% of the people living in very small, scattered villages and only 30% living in towns. The largest ethnic group, the Bhutia, Nalops, make up about half the country's population and live mainly in northern, central, and western Bhutan. Their ancestors came to Bhutan from Tibet starting in the 9th century AD. They speak various Tibetan dialects, one of which, Dzongkha, is the official language of Bhutan. They practice a form of Mahayana Buddhism, the country's official religion. The Sharchops, who live in the east, also follow Mahayana Buddhism. They account for about 15% of the population. People of Nepalese origins live in the south. Their religion is Hinduism, and their chief language is Nepali. The Nepalese make up some 35% of the country's people. Economy. Agriculture and forestry are the main occupations in Bhutan. Farmers raise livestock and grow such crops as rice, corn, maize, oranges, and potatoes. A significant portion of Bhutan's income comes from exporting hydroelectricity, water power, to India. Construction and tourism are also important. Chief manufacturers include chemicals, cement, wood products, processed foods, and iron alloys. Cottage industries make matches, soap, textiles, carpets, and candles. Although paved highways connect various parts of the country, yaks, mules, and ponies are still used as a mode of transportation on rough mountain trails. There is an airport at Paro. Trekking tours became popular after the country was open for limited amounts of tourism in 1974. History. Little is known of Bhutan's early history. For much of the 19th century the country was plagued by a series of civil wars. Its rulers kept it closed to foreigners until well into the 20th century. Nevertheless, in 1865 it began allowing the British, who then ruled India, to guide its international affairs in exchange for an annual subsidy. Later, in 1949, Bhutan established a similar relationship with newly independent India instead of Britain. Bhutan was united under the Wangchuk dynasty of hereditary monarchs in 1907. The third king in this line, Jigma Dorji Wangchuk, began a series of development projects in the 1950s and 60s to modernize the country's social system and economy, outlawing slavery and building roads, hospitals, and schools. 
In 1971, the country ended its international isolation and joined the United Nations. The fourth king, Jigma Singye Wangchuk, who came to power in 1972, furthered the modernization programs but also sought to protect Bhutan's cultural heritage. In 1988, the country began requiring its people, including those of Nepalese Hindu origins, to adhere to certain Bhutia Buddhist traditions. The country also tightened its immigration laws. Violence broke out in 1990, and many thousands of Bhutan's Nepalese fled to Nepal. Some 100,000 of them took up what became long-term residence in refugee camps there. The fourth king also steered Bhutan toward democratic government, giving up some of the monarchy's power in the late 1990s. As part of the transformation, he stepped down in 2006 and his son, Jigma Kasar Namgul Wangchuk, became king. The country became a democracy, and its first elections were held in December 2007, to the upper house of a newly created parliament. The first elections to the lower house of parliament were held in March 2008.